Okay, we are live. So um, for those of you who are out and uh, who are viewing us for today, I just want to thank you for tuning in. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to Financial Fridays. And my name is Clara Lyons Devon. I'm the broker owner at Lion Tree Realty, and we provide residential real estate services, commercial for nonprofits and small businesses, and property management services. And coming soon, really excited, is uh, Lions View Academy, which is our educational arm to uh, Lions View Realty. But today, um, we're going to be talking about Financial Friday. So Lions View Realty is really committed to ensuring that you have the information to assist you in making the best financial decisions to maximize your wealth building power just now and also in the future. Financial Fridays helps you stay current on trends that impact your bottom line. And today we have a very, very special guest, Miss Sandy Recevi from ADT Security. Welcome, Sandy. Thanks, Clara. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. Glad you could join us today. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a residential sales rep for ADT. I've worked for ADT corporate for over 10 years mm -hmm. and I love my job. I've got a job that I get to meet a lot of nice people okay. and I go into the, and I really truly believe ADT is the best product and the best solution for home security. Uh, so it makes it easy for me to do my daily job. Um, they have a lot of different things which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but yeah, and my background as far as long term, I was a graduate of Temple University. I worked a short time. I got an engineering degree. I worked a short time in that area. And then I moved on into sales over time. And then I've been with ADT now for the last 10 and a half years or so. Awesome. Awesome. So I met Sandy um through the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, Sandy is one of our affiliate members providing uh, security services to our customers and clients. And she's been with us for several several years now. She provides excellent customer service. And I'm really happy that you could join us today. Thanks so again. I want to talk about security in general because a lot of people... Uh, you know, put security systems into their homes when they're purchasing a home. It's one of the questions that come up um, and there are different types of security systems, but what would you say are the top three reasons uh, people decide to get a security system? One is when you mentioned buying a new home. Mm -hmm. um, they're in a new neighborhood, they're not familiar with it, and they're concerned about their family and their property. Um, so they put it in, you know, an alarm system in mm -hmm. other times people put alarm systems in because the neighbor down the street had a break in mm -hmm. and they never thought they needed an alarm system. Yeah. And now they, you know, feel that they're a little more vulnerable, uh, without one. Okay. And then others times people put them in for personal reasons. Uh, I have a client now that we're putting a system in because her mother is now living with her. Mm. and she has the onset of Alzheimer's mm. and she wants to make sure that in the event the uh, ha there's a problem with her mom she, her mother tried to get out get out a window wow. uh, not too long ago and mm. if she were to have an alarm system she would be notified um, and it would let her mother know not to do that next time because I'm pretty sure it would startle her mm -hmm. so <laughs> there is you know many many reasons why people put alarm systems in but yeah. for me personally, yeah. the reason I have my alarm mm -hmm. is two reasons. One is I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night hearing voices downstairs. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather have the alarm go off and know that ADT is going to be right there for me, mm -hmm. talking to me and calming me down mm -hmm. and then sending the police. Yeah. And then I also like the idea that my family, as well as myself, after the house has been empty for the day or a couple of days, if we've been away, walking into the home, I don't have to go, oh, who are you in my yes. kitchen? Monitoring, um, indeed. Correct. So I do it for personal reasons. I mean, most homes have, you know, generic things in it, nothing unique. Mm -hmm. There's really not much in my house that you could steal or that people would want, but I don't want to experience that personal oops 
what, what just happened. Indeed. I was watching an episode of um, Who Is Us, Who We Are Us, or whatever. What's the name of that show? <laughs> this, is, yes. this is Us. This is this Us. This is Us. This is Us. <laughs> yeah. And the husband had come back from a business trip, you know, early in the morning, had, you know, settled in. His family was home, checked on his wife and his children, just happened just happened to go downstairs for a snack and is standing face to face with a person, um, an intruder. And, you know, they had a visual standoff and, you know, he's like, you can have my wallet and my money, but you're not getting past me <laughs> to my family. And, you yeah. know, he, and he's told him he was, he's, I guess he's a city council member or something. And he told him who he was and, you know, the guy wouldn't get far, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, after that, he had an alarm system put into his home, you know, just for the peace of mind of knowing, you know, that he's safe. I know he never expected that, you know, he lives in a nice neighborhood, um, but you never know who's watching you um, and, you know, what. The next level of protection. Yeah. His story turned out okay. But yeah. what if the intruder got scared, had a gun, right. and didn't want that him to be known that he was breaking into the house? You right. don't know the outcome could have been dramatically right. different. Yes, indeed. 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 So um having home security is a really uh unfortunately sometimes very necessary thing. So it's good to, for people to know what their options are and what's available, which is what we're going to talk about today. So talk a little bit about um, ADT. That's the company that you work for and the services that ADT provides. Okay. Well, ADT actually started in 1874. Oh, wow. ADT stands for American District Telegraph. We wow. started out as a telegraph company um, delivering telegraphs for people that had burglaries and fires. And then in the early 1900s, we put our first monitoring company together, and then we've grown it to be who we are today. Wow. Um, we have over nine monitoring centers that are owned, operated, and staffed by ADT. We have the, lots of lots of experience. We only do security. We've never ventured into any other Avenue, just mm -hmm. home security and business security, large and small. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our own employees that are actually doing the work. So if an installer comes to your home, he works for ADT. Mm -hmm. He's been with ADT in my office, which is in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. We have service technicians and installers that have over 25 years of experience and they're going to be retiring with ADT. Mm -hmm. A lot of knowledge, a lot of ex expertise and professionalism. Mm -hmm. We also have the, which I consider the best service possible. When I sell a solution to a homeowner, the homeowner gets my personal cell phone. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean that my phone is ringing off the hook? No, it's not. I wouldn't be working for a company that I had a lot of problem customers calling me all the time. Mm -hmm. So therefore that personal cell phone has worked for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And clients know that in the event they have an immediate question, they don't have to sit on the mm -hmm. phone talk, waiting for an operator to answer and so on. I pick my phone up pretty much all the time. I'm in sales, so it's on next to me all the time, Indeed. sometimes when I prefer that it wasn't, but right. that's my job and that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So as far as ADT, um, you know, we, I consider us to be the best. I've had mm -hmm. ADT in my home over 25 years, different homes, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, I think the best company to work for. Awesome. So you talked a little bit about installation. Um, you know, what's the, the process for installation? I know one of the questions that comes up, you know, people are concerned about the people who install the systems in their property, you know, possibly. Absolutely. So, you know, how do you protect the client? Like what's the typical installation process? Yes, that's, that's a big concern. People don't realize uh, sometimes how important it is to know who the person is that's coming into your home to install that security system. Mm -hmm. ADT does a background check. And like I said, I know all of my installers and all of my service technicians, mm -hmm. and they're all good people and family people um, and been with ADT for a very long period of time. Mm -hmm. 
So therefore, when the installer comes to your home, he's got the credentials. He mm -hmm. puts booties on when he goes into the house. So he's not, you know, marking up your tile floor. Mm -hmm. um, he goes and does a walk around the house with you um, mm -hmm. to make sure that he has a full understanding of what needs to be installed. Right. I attend the installation at some point, either in the beginning, the middle or the end. I try mm -hmm. every installation so they get professional connectivity with me. Mm -hmm. um, just so to make sure there's no questions and that the installer knows exactly what needs to be installed. Mm -hmm. He then installs the system. And then at the very end, he trains you on the system and shows you how to use it. And then last but not least, I always tell the client, if you have a question that comes up in the evening, the next day, a week, two weeks, a year, mm -hmm. you have my telephone number to get immediate access to your questions that you may have on the installation or any part or process of ADT. That, you said a couple of things. One is uh, that they put you know, the booties on when they come through. I, I had a friend who was sharing with me, a mattress installer came to, to her house and um, you know, they did not respect her property. They were, had their shoes on the bed. They were dragging the mattress in the street, you know, just <laughs> Crazy job, you know. There's <laughs> lots, there's lots and lots and lots of types of installations that occur, even in the security industry. And people don't realize the value, the a lot of values of ADT and what you're receiving when you put an ADT system in. Mm -hmm. I work for corporate, so I can only speak for those installers that come from corporate, but mm -hmm. we are very professional. Mm -hmm. we, I just had a client yesterday say that one of the companies they were uh, communicating with on a camera system that there need to be some wires that were hung, you know, in view. And I said, well, I can guarantee ADT would never do something like that. Everything is put between, put behind the wall and installed professionally mm -hmm. and it's a clean installation. And if for some reason there needs to be a wire run and it needs to be shown, there's ways mm -hmm. to cover that up and we bring it to the customer's attention prior to actually doing it. So it's, you know, as again, it's a professional installation. Indeed, that's really, really important. So what are some of the services that um, ADT provides through the security system itself? ADT has been in the business forever. So mm -hmm. we started out providing protection for burglary situations, okay. as well as monitoring their house for fire and carbon monoxide. Okay. People don't understand that value sometimes yes. too. In the event you have a fire in your house and you can't get out, mm -hmm. ADT will siren for the smoke detector will go off. The monitoring center receives the call and we send the first responders. Okay. It's very good if you collapse in a fire and you're lying on the floor and now your sirens in your house for your regular smoke detectors mm -hmm. are going off. No one's going to be coming to your rescue. But if you have one from ADT, ADT is responding with the first responders and calling you if you're on vacation, letting you know that there's an issue at your home. Awesome. Carbon monoxide is the same thing. It's odorless and colorless yes. um, gas. And we monitor for that 24 hours a day, seven days, a, seven days a week. ADT has saved many, many, many lives over the years due to those house conditions, fires or carbon monoxide leakage. We also have product um, that's more I'm selling more of it now um, over the years because of the sophistication that people want in their homes. Mm -hmm. They want to have the capability of um, easy uh, mm -hmm. smartness. So we have a lot of different products that enable a homeowner to have the capability of controlling their phone from their cell phone or controlling their alarm from their cell phone. Being mm -hmm. able to peek in and check in through camera systems, mm -hmm. being able to conserve energy and, and save on their electric or utility bills, mm -hmm. switching out the thermostats, yes. um, having someone come to the home and being able to let them in without you having to physically be there, yes. checking on your garage door and making sure that it's closed because you may be a mm -hmm. person that's notorious about forgetting to do that. Yes. So all those things and many other things you're able to do with the alarm system today that, that adds value to your home when you go to sell it. Mm -hmm. It also gives you the protection that you need when you're there and when you're not mm -hmm. there. And it also gives you the, the ease and convenience of being able to do a lot of things on your phone that you never could do before. 
one of the things that ADT really offers is a complete solution. Mm. So therefore, there are many, many manufacturers of cameras and thermostats and those controllable items. Mm -hmm. But the reason people choose ADT is because it's one company, we install it, mm -hmm. we train you, mm -hmm. and we will service it if there's ever a problem. So therefore, you don't have to worry about taking the product back to Home Depot or Lowe's mm -hmm. and saying, this doesn't work. What do I got to do? Mm -hmm. Or after a camera is installed, if there is an issue and you see a black screen, mm -hmm. not to worry. Call our service department. We will either fix it or replace it free of charge for you mm -hmm. if you have our quality service plan. So there's lots of reasons people choose ADT, but that's just you know one of the main reasons people um, do that. So you, you said something, um, transfer on sale is what came up for me. So if a person sells their property and they have all of this equipment installed, does the equipment stay there? Does it transfer to the new owner? Does it transfer to the new property? Like, how does that work? Typically, we have a relocation program. Okay. And what that entails is once you sign up with ADT, mm -hmm. no one really knows other than the guy above where you're going to be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we do not penalize you if you move. Right. You could be in your home for six months, a year, or two years, and something mm -hmm. happens and you need to move. Mm -hmm. We do not recommend you moving that equipment from that home to the new home. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it could be out of really software um, levels could be different. Firmware changes could be different. The hardware could be different. Mm -hmm. So when you purchase an alarm system from ADT, it's like purchasing, you know, a system for your home that's going to stay there. So right. it's bringing value to your home. Right. You can then offer that as one of the positives of selling the home. Yeah. You have an active alarm system with cameras or with the home automation pieces that mm -hmm. actually a lot of homeowners want. It's a, it's a um, installed system already. Mm -hmm. And then when you move to a new location, we don't penalize you by charging you cancellation fees in the event you start service again. Mm -hmm. So you can move from point A to point B and at point B, we give you a discount on adding a system to the home. Okay. So you get you know, you're a valued customer of ours and we give you a lot of times free equipment or a discount on the home, on the home um, installation. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you know, change the installation up. You can keep it the same way. Mm -hmm. We design it specifically for that second home. So mm -hmm. it may be a little different because you have a different quantity of windows or doors mm -hmm. right. and things of that nature. Right, right. And then the other question was about the response time. So when the alarm goes off, so typically... You, yeah. How long does it, how long does it, oops, oops, how long does it take before the, um, you know, the responders come, the response time, typically, what is it? We can't, we can't, ADT nor any other organization can, we can't control the timing of the police. Okay. However, when the call, when the siren goes off, the call mm -hmm. goes to the monitoring center. Mm -hmm. The monitoring center is waiting for that code to go into the keypad mm -hmm. because you forgot to uh, you forgot to turn your alarm off before you opened up your back door. Okay. So the majority of alarms that do come into ADT are false alarms. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that means that if you turn your alarm off and put your code in, you're telling ADT that everything's right so that when they call you, mm -hmm. you can tell them that everything is fine and, and you just made a mistake. Right. In the event you don't answer your call, mm -hmm. then ADT will dispatch the police to that location. Mm -hmm. We always like to call at least one or two numbers prior to dispatching the police, just mm -hmm. because the general population, right. the majority of alarms that come in are false. Right. However, once once the police are dis we make the phone call to the police department, mm -hmm. we follow that up. And in mm -hmm. our system, we have an actual time format that you literally can see every second mm -hmm. of what is actually transpiring. I've had clients over the years call me and say, well, I don't think they called me or I don't, I never got the call from ADT. And I'm my first, when I first started working for ADT, I took it at like, oh my God, I got to fix that. Mm -hmm. Well, when I do a little bit of investigative work, the first call we made was to the husband's phone and he never answered it and we left mm -hmm. a message. Mm -hmm. Then the second call was to the house line and nobody answered it. Mm -hmm. So then we dispatched the police 
And then we called the wife's line. And that was after the fact, after the police had already been dispatched. Yeah. So in our systems, we keep track of everybody that we call mm -hmm. and the timing of that. And usually it's the homeowner that mm -hmm. was mistaken and didn't realize that they didn't answer their call. But the process is the alarm goes off. Mm -hmm. ADT gets the call and we send the police to your home. Okay. So that is typically the, you know, the process. For carbon monoxide and fire, uh, carbon monoxide, and I speak to clients about this a lot because it's a silent killer. You know, you can't smell it, as you said. Um, and people are required to have detectors in their homes, but sometimes they get disabled or, you know, is there an additional carbon monoxide uh, monitor with the security system in addition to, or is it the same one? How, how does that work? No, it's, there's two different kinds of detectors for smoke and for carbon. Okay. There are house units that typically when you buy a home for the, to get to receive the CO, right. you yeah. need to have working fire detectors and yes. carbon monoxide detectors. Yeah. Our units are separate from that. We're okay. considered the second level. Okay. So a lot of times people will just put maybe one on each floor. Mm -hmm. And we have with our new system now, we have a combo unit so that you could mm -hmm. put a smoke and a carbon in your basement. Mm -hmm. You could put a smoke and a carbon on your second floor mm -hmm. and then maybe a smoke detector or carbon monoxide on your, on your main floor. Right. Really depends. It's the second level of protection. Yeah. We really recommend putting a smoke detector at the highest point of the house if you're only getting one mm -hmm. because smoke rises very quickly. Mm -hmm. but it's a individual choice for the homeowner i've had homeowners that said oh i can't put that there it does i don't like the look of that mm -hmm. so it really depends their wireless units they can go wherever you would like them to go mm -hmm. but typically you'd want them in your homes a lot of times we put them where the sleeping area is and then we also put them where the sources are for, say, carbon monoxide, where your heating system is, where your fireplace is, mm -hmm. where your mm -hmm. gas hot water heater is, your, your kitchen range, that's gas. Yeah. Any place there's a gas source, you could have a potential of a leakage, mm -hmm. and that's carbon monoxide. Okay. And then the response time for that, it goes directly, or the process? Same as for burglary, mm -hmm. correct. And if we don't, the thing with carbon monoxide mm -hmm. is we don't make a call, we dispatch. Yeah. If fire detection, we always make one call first. And the reason is you could be burning your lasagna in your oven yeah. and the whole house is filled with smoke and it's not a real fire. Yeah. So we always like to make one call first on that. And then burglary, of course, we usually call mm -hmm. once just to make sure there's not a false alarm. Yeah. But after that, if we have not received a response from you, we're dispatching the, the first responders. That's awesome. That's awesome. Talk a little bit about... Um... You said a little bit about it, the items that are operable from your, your mobile device that you can um, use to do things in the house. What, what's that process like? What types of things can you operate from your phone? You can, the number one reason people put our remote access system mm -hmm. um, into their home is for convenience. Mm -hmm. You basically uh, can be able to control the alarm from your phone. You can turn it on, turn it off anywhere in the world, as long as you have cell service okay. on your phone. Okay. You can also get an immediate connection to your home in the event you get a notification on your phone that someone walked on your deck in the backyard. Mm -hmm. You can get a notification that someone just walked on to your property mm -hmm. and you can, from your phone, take a look at it immediately. You also can control different things in your home. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, heating system. So if you're on vacation and you're coming home and it's the middle of August and you know you, you didn't have your air on for the last week, yeah. you can, from your phone, turn on the air so you're walking into a nice cool home after you know it's been, been vacant for, for a week during the vacation time. Mm -hmm. You can also let people into your home through your garage door. In the event you have a package, a big package that's delivered, maybe, mm -hmm. and your neighbor calls you and says, do you know that you got a package delivered on your, in your front? You say, oh, you know what? Could you do me a favor? I'm not going to be home for a couple hours. Can you put it in my garage? Mm -hmm. And you can open up your garage door. And if you have to put it in the foyer, you can turn your alarm off from your phone and unlock your front door to make it easy for that person to have entry. Mm -hmm. um, also, there's some things about technology that ADT has a patent on. 
is the communication link between the um, connection points and the alarm system. We use a technology called SIX, and it's a encrypted signaling that we have a patent on. So our newest product, the command system, is what we're installing now, and that mm -hmm. has takes takes the um, capability of of knowing that you can't um, disrupt any of those signals, and we are, we're awesome. enjoying that you know patent capability. Indeed, ADT Pulse is that different than basic ADT? Are there any features that you haven't talked about already that ADT Pulse does? Well, Pulse is a name given to the remote access system. Okay. So really there's three different names. There's okay. the traditional system, which is like a keypad on the wall. You okay. turn it off, turn the alarm on and off from the keypad. Okay. Um, those systems are for people um, that really have no interest in home automation. Mm -hmm. Then we have the home automation platforms. The first system we came out with many years ago was called Pulse. Mm -hmm. And that is where you can, again, control the alarm system from your phone. Mm -hmm. Recently, within the past year, ADT has introduced the newest system, the newest platform called Command. Okay. And that is very similar to Pulse, okay. where it's the platform we're going to continue to expand and add on. Uh -huh. um, but it has the same features as the Pulse system and then some. And then we've added some new things to it. Okay. So it's either traditional systems or the remote access system with the home automation capability. Okay. And one of the nice things with ADT is that you're never stuck with the platform that you have. You can always upgrade your system. So mm -hmm. if you start out by having a traditional system, mm -hmm. then you can add on to that at any point in time in the future. With awesome. no, you know, um, there's ways of doing that for every platform that we have. Awesome. And what's the standard warranty on the either the system or the equipment? Warranty, we, we incorporate a quality service plan, which nice. basically means all parts, all labor for the life of the product. Mm -hmm. um, as long as we can get that part, if you have a problem with it the day after, two weeks later, six months later, five years later, mm -hmm. ADT will send service out, not charge you for the parts and the labor if they need to replace it okay. and get it up and running for you again. Okay. So it is 100% is warranty. Awesome. Awesome. And will people get discounts on their homeowner's insurance if they have security systems in place? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, a lot of people buying a home, they have a lot of cost involved in, in the purchase price. They have a yeah. lot of different in, uh, investments that they're making with their new uh, pieces of furniture and the decorations. But it's also nice to know buying a home that you can get a little bit of a discount when you go out for homeowners insurance. Mm -hmm. You get a discount for having a burglary system. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times insurance companies will give you a little bit extra if you have monitored fire because fire takes it all typically. Yeah. And insurance companies like the idea that in the event there's a fire, they don't have to replace everything. Mm -hmm. So therefore they're going to give you a little bit of an extra uh, discount for having a security system that has a monitored fire uh, piece for it. That is awesome. So are there any specials going on right now with ADT that you want to share? There's lots of specials. Um, we have specials on our camera systems. We have specials on the home, any of the home automation pieces. Right. We also have a new system, um, a way of actually allowing you to design an ADT security system with everything that you want, all the cameras and all the home automation and the smoke and the carbon, everything that a lot of people didn't really have the money for in the past. Mm -hmm. But now ADT is offering, we call it a FlexFi program, where you actually come to the table with no money mm -hmm. and we'll give you an interest-free payment plan mm -hmm. um, where you don't have to uh, worry about pulling money out of your pocket Mm -hmm. You can actually pay it off over time, and that's through ADT Corporation. Mm -hmm. And you're in, given the capability of adding a lot of pieces to that design that you could not financially afford in the past that you now can financially afford. Awesome. And it makes, makes it much more palatable for that homeowner to add all those extra things that they wish they had. And it's now incorporating all those wish list items. Awesome. That's really awesome. So if people wanted to get in contact with you, Sandy, um, what is your contact information so they can reach out to you? 
you, two things. You can call me on my cell phone. You can call me and it's a direct dial is 609-509-2933. And then I also have an email at ADT, which is S for my first name. And my last name is R-E-S-A-V-Y at ADT.com. So either way, I would be happy to answer um, the request. And the one thing that all of your listeners have access to is a complimentary review where I come out, I present the product to them. I go over the details and the options. I'm not a pressure salesperson. I'm more of an educator. Mm -hmm. And in the event you want to go forward, that's wonderful. You come on board and you join the ADT family. If not, I shake your hand and say, have a great life or call me if you need to in the future. Oh, awesome. Well, I definitely appreciate you coming on today and sharing information about a very, very important topic, which is security. And um, I think your company is great. I think that you are great. And so I appreciate you taking the time this morning um, today to, you know, to share with our, our viewers. And for those of you who are doing the replay, you know, you can like and share this video if you're looking at it now or if you're looking at it later. You can also share it to other people. Um, if you are looking um, to purchase that property to secure or to sell a property that you have secured, um, or if you're an investor or an, a renter, you can contact uh, anyone at our company, Lions Free Realty. Our team would be happy to help you with that as well. And you can reach us at info, I-N-F-O, at lionsviewrealty.com. That's L-Y-O-N-S, V as in victory, I-E-W, realty.com, info at lionsviewrealty.com. Or you can call us, 856 209 0905. The Lions View Vision, and I have to talk about this, is really to provide you with the resources, with information, and with tips to help you make the best decisions to build wealth for yourself and your family now and in the future, because we want you to have your best life. I'm Ms. Claire Lyons-Devon. Join us live again on Friday at 930. Until then, keep living your best life. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you very much, Clara. Have a great day. You too.